The children laugh, the old ones laugh. The newborn cry, the elders weep. The knowledge of infants and elders, separated only by years. Adulthood lost to growing up fear, the only security being insecurity, changing crying to weeping. The wisdom of infants and elders, crying and laughing, weeping and laughing. Songs in the beginning, sung in the end. Endure, the people cry out. Tears of anger, tears of sorrow, flowing, giving birth to resistance. Young ones to remember, struggle, for the people cry out. Tears of happiness, tears of joy, washing the pain, cleaning the spirit, giving strength. The generations remembering the past to rebuild the future, for weeping is another way of laughing and resisting and outlasting the enemy. Living in reality, calling us red Indians, we have been the colors on a chameleon's back, changing with time, altering the larger pattern, surviving genocide because we have to. Living in reality, we are targets of your unfairness. With warriors for targets, you create your own destruction. This is how we bring you down target by target. You wound yourself. Using your greed, we watch your spirit fade. Living in reality, we can endure your cages, your bullets, your lies, your confusion. We know you have destroyed your peace. Living in reality, you only exist. Diablo Canyon, today I challenge the nukes. The soldiers of the state placed me in captivity, or so they thought. They bound my wrist in their plastic handcuffs, surrounding me with their plastic minds and faces. They ridiculed me, but I could see through to the ridicule they brought on themselves. They told me, squat over there by the trash. They left a soldier to guard me. I was the Viet Cong. I was Crazy Horse. Little did they understand. Squatting down in the earth, they placed me with my power. My power to laugh, laugh at their righteous wrong. Their sneers and their taunts gave me clarity to see their powerlessness. It was in the way they dressed and in the way they acted. They viewed me as an enemy, a threat to their rationalization. I felt pity for them knowing they will never be free. I was their captain, but my heart was racing through the generations, the memories of eternity. I was beyond their reach. I would be brought to the internment camp to share my time with allies. The last time I saw them, they were standing in their 12-hour shifts, addicted to their chain of command, waiting to be told what to do, forgetting about me, thinking I was just another protester they were finished with. Never understanding, I am not finished with them, for I am the resistance, and as always, I will return. It took the times we didn't care about living to learn survivors survive whether they want or not. It took the pain, the grief, and the dying to remember what gets forgotten in the living. It took the lessons of a thousand generations to get through the time of yesterday. It took the joyful songs of laughter to last beyond today into tomorrow. It took the fragrance of a woman's touch to realize brothers and sisters are never alone. It took the joining of earth and sky to create, centering the universe. For Ronald America, this time I almost wanted to believe you when you said it would be all right. You wanted to end the suffering, and the deliberateness of the wrongs were only in my imagination. This time I almost wanted to believe you when you implied the times of sorrow were buried in the past. Never would we have to worry about shadows and memories clinging and draining the strength from our souls. This time I almost wanted to believe you when you spoke of peace and love and caring and duty and God and destiny. But somehow the death in your eyes and your bombs and your taxes and your greed and your facelift told me, this time I cannot afford to believe you. Industrial slave, 
Industrial slave, capitalist and communist imperialist, smiling with false faces, beckoning us with their lies about progress, wanting us to enjoy the rape of earth and our minds. Industrial slave, forked tongue legalistic contract chains, turning our visions to technologic nightmares. National security war makers desecrating the natural world, and God still trying to get over what you've done to his boy. Industrial slave, material bound, law and order, religious salvation, individually alone, industrial slave. Without earth there is no heaven, streets of gold, angels' wings, eternal life, corporate right nuclear regimes maximizing profit, eating identities, plundering natural allies as though earth is dead, allowing religious right collection plate tributes to church and state, with Christ still hanging from the cross, echoing industrial war cries, warring against body and soul, attacking spirit, lying to enslave with an illusion about freedom. Without earth there is no heaven, earth and sky, universal power, life energies, creative flow, in which we are a pattern to keep balance, harmony, a gift, and appreciation to enjoy. Honor life. Without earth, there is no heaven. <laughs> 